Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and in this video I'm going to help you if you often feel late on your ground strokes because you might be making a mistake that's common with recreational players but the pros, they don't make this mistake. Let me show you what it is. It has to do with the rhythm and the timing of your swing. See, a lot of players, they'll take their racket back, whether it's a forehand or backhand, and they always, no matter the ball that comes to them, they always pause the racket. When the ball comes to you at a fast speed, you won't have enough time to turn, pause, and then continue your swing. I want you to watch this video of Novak Djokovic. He's actually hitting with Marin Cilic at Indian Wells, just practicing. And I just want you to watch when he's hitting the forehand, how when he turns, it's a continuous swing because of the speed that's coming to him from Marin Cilic. So that was so cool to see Djokovic on the forehand, and I included the backhand, keeping his swing continuous. If you have a swing that has a built-in pause, whether it's you make a circular swing, but after you turn, it always waits, and then you continue, or on the forehand, you turn, you pause, and then you continue, there's a limit to the level of play you can reach because eventually your opponent is gonna hit the ball deep enough, fast enough, heavy enough, that you will be forced to be moving back toward the back fence, and once you start moving back toward the back fence on deep, fast, powerful shots, it's kinda of game over against a certain level of play. So what you need to do is have the ability to keep your swing going. That doesn't mean that you should always keep your racket going. For instance, let's say your opponent chips a ball up nice and high, or they kind of frame a ball and it's, it's high. Well, of course, you have time to move around like this. That's not the situation where people are late. People are late on, on deep, aggressive balls that land near the baseline because players, without realizing it, they turn, uh, amateur players, they turn, pause the racket, and then they're late hitting the ball. So I want you to get your Topspin Pro out and I want you to practice this. By the way, if you don't have a Topspin Pro, go into the description and use my affiliate link. It would mean the absolute world to me if you used my link to grab one of these. You can even go into the first comment. I'll pin my affiliate link in the first comment below. The goal is that you have a swing where the racket doesn't have to stop. It can if you have a lot of time. Let's say the ball tips off the net and you can just wait here and probe around a little bit. But you have to have a swing where the racket doesn't have to stop. And that's what we saw with Djokovic. He turned and he kept his racket going rather than pausing and then being late. He was doing the same thing on the backhand. I saw in that video that I watched, and by the way, that video is courtesy of 12K GP Tennis on YouTube. Somebody in the comments wrote, it was so funny. They said, Djokovic's backhand is cleaner than my hands after I've washed them for 20 seconds. It was so, such a funny comment. But when Djokovic turns on his backhand, he doesn't pause here. He just keeps the racket going. You want to learn a swing 
that doesn't have to pause. Remember, if you turn and the ball tips off the net, well, of course you're gonna wait, wait, wait until the ball gets to you and then you're gonna swing. But you want to have the type of swing where the racket doesn't have to stop. Learn a continuous swing ground stroke. Until you have a swing that can be continuous and doesn't have to pause, you're basically putting a cap on your level of play. Don't do that to yourself. You want to raise your level of play, and what does that mean? You can handle higher level players, players who hit deeper, faster, play closer to the baseline, giving you less time. And if you always have a swing where when you take the racket back, it has to pause, and you don't even realize you're doing it. Like most people don't even realize they're doing it. So film yourself to make sure that you're, you aren't pausing your racket. Until you can use a continuous swing, you're really gonna str struggle with depth. So get out your Topspin Pro, practice a continuous swing on both the forehand and backhand side, and yes, the one-hander as well. And there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.